domestic work, as we know, it refers to all kinds of work which is performed in and for a household. It includes work as cooking, cleaning, caring for children, caring for elderly, uh, caring for pets. These are some of the, the main uh, areas of domestic work. We care in the United Nations about this particular section uh, primarily because we are looking at a very vulnerable group of workers whose entitlements as workers are not met. And uh, they're not covered by labor legislation that covers the formal sector. These workers are in the informal sector. Secondly, most of the workers in this sector uh, are women. And they are women who often migrate from rural areas into urban areas. And we've seen an increase in the demand from urban centers in India over the last decade. We've seen an increase in the demand for domestic workers of 68%, according to NSSO data. Uh, among this uh, group of workers, which is officially estimated to around 10 million altogether, unfortunately, there, there are also children. There are children who are involved in, child, in, in domestic work, we call them child domestic workers, and that's a particularly vulnerable group, needless to say. Domestic workers are, are workers, uh, and as such, they are entitled to uh, fair uh, treatment uh, as workers under labor laws. Um, however, in India, there is no national law that covers domestic workers as such. Currently, we have a number of legislation, such as the recently um, endorsed Sexual Harassment in the Workplace Act from April 2013, which does include domestic workers. Um, we have um, also the 2006 Act on uh, Child Labour, which includes domestic work as a pro prohibition for children. And there are a number of other areas, but importantly, there is no minimum wage act uh, at the national level for domestic workers. We have currently seven states in India who have gone forward with notifications on the minimum wages for domestic workers. And that's a very, very important first step. We, would, uh, we believe, however, uh, that the mechanisms to set minimum wages for this sector um, and the actual levels that they are set on is something that could need uh, improvement. And as such, we have been for a couple of years calling for a national policy. It's there already in draft form. I would like to commend the government of India in having supported the ILO Convention on Domestic Work, which uh, was endorsed by the International Labour Conference in 2011. And India actually, after that, uh, here in India, established a task force, and this task force drafted a national policy. And that's in line with the ILO Convention. So, um, we do hope from the UN side that this convention, together with other conventions and, and in line with national uh, legislation, will um, pave the way for um, a national uh, policy which then um, will bring this whole sector of employment into the formal sector, from informal to formal. So by uh, endorsing this policy, you with one go, you bring 10 million very vulnerable workers into uh, labor legislation where they have rights as workers. Another critical factor is an often forgotten fact that when a huge group of vulnerable female workers from rural areas are looking for job, there are very few job opportunities. And one of the, the uh, sectors that they are um, uh, identifying is the domestic work sector and they uh, get into this so it becomes an entry point for women to access the labor market in India. Um, what happens here is that as we've seen a growing middle class in India, women in the middle class are now going out into the labor market and they're pursuing their career dreams and personal growth and professionalism. But it leaves a need at home for uh, somebody to do the household chores. So the domestic workers come in and they fill that hole. But we are not actually having a real gender 
equality uh, or we are not having improvement on the gender equality uh, index here we're just pushing the inequality down the ladder to the, this next group of women who come in and do this kind of work. Mm -hmm.